Section 5. Create, read, update and delete with Node.js. In this section, we will cover the remaining API integration as well as some libraries and modules that are useful for any single page application, such as unit testing. In this section, we will start off by setting up login page and finishing its functionality and adding the logged in user to the Vuex store. We will also learn how to use the API to create, read, update, and delete items. We will also learn how to use Vuex store as a single point of contact to the API. In the end of this section, we will go through front end security and everything you should be concerned about. We will take a look at some common front end vulnerabilities as well as ways to safeguard against them. We will also take a look at unit testing. In this video, we will be setting up login page and functionality and adding the logged in user to the Vuex store. Let's start off by creating a login service in authentication service.js file. Now let's go to our login component and modify its code so that upon clicking the login button, it will hit this login service endpoint. Here I would like to export a data that contains email password error and validation error elements. Here I would also like to export a login method. Here in try I would like to hit login authentication service that I just created and provided with the data of email and password and I would also like to receive the response in a const response variable. Upon receiving the response, I will set the validation error to false. In catch block, I would like to receive the error message and set the validation error to true. Here in the layout, once the login button is clicked, I would like it to execute this login method. I would also like to show the validation errors in vAlert. I would also like to update the input fields to have a two way binding by introducing vModel. Now let's go to our server side and add a login route. In my app.js file, I will add a new login route here. Now let's go to our authentication controller and create a login method. Here in the try block, I would like to receive the requested body as email and password. Now I would like to use the requested email to find one in the user model. In case the user is not found, I will send an error message and a status of 403. Otherwise, I would like to validate the password. Now let's go and introduce a compare method. In our user model. Here I will also like to remove the before save hook because a login endpoint will keep triggering the before save and introducing a new hash password which is not what we want. Now back in our authentication controller.js file, after receiving the response from the compare password, I would like to see if our comparison was successful or not. In case of failure, I would like to send an error message and a status 403. In case of the password is valid, I would like to send the user JSON and the JWT token in return. And in the catch block, I would like to send an error message and a status 500. Now let's test our login endpoint using a REST tool. 